Yo, what is up, everybody? Merry Christmas, guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed and holy Christmas this year. I've been really wanting to do something special this year for Christmas because it's my first uh, YouTube Christmas, but I haven't had a lot of time recently on my hands. I haven't had a lot of time. So I figured, what is something that's easy to make, also really fun to enjoy? Commercials. Old commercials. So we're going to be reacting to some pretty dumb and some pretty funny commercials, but I hope you guys enjoy. Before we get into this video, make sure you all like and subscribe for more videos. I'm trying to hit 400 subscribers before the end of the year. I know we can do it, guys. Just, I need y'all's help. And if you like what you see here, please consider going to check out some of my other videos. I have some other stuff I'm sure you guys would like. I'll leave some links to some good videos in the description. But anyways, let's get into the video. Aw, look at this one. This is a nice commercial. I love this song, too. I, love, I think it brings out the best in people. Mario, what are you doing, man? Why are they teaming on Yoshi? You didn't do anything. You too can help prevent Yoshi abuse. YLM. Yoshi lives matter. Oh yeah, and like the commercial is for Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah, Smash Bros. Wow. While we're on the topic of Nintendo, do you guys remember the Super Mario Bros. Super Show? It's a classic childhood favorite that a lot of people grew up with, including myself. Well, did you know that Lou Albano, the actor playing Mario in the live-action segments of the show, did PSAs for commercials? And in one of them, he gives a pretty interesting message. I'm Captain Lou Albano talking to you about drugs. Kids, don't be afraid to say no. Anyone that asks you to use drugs is not your friend. Drugs can and will kill. Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister, your moms, your dads, your teachers, because drugs can kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Mario, <laughs> oh my gosh, I never would have thought in a million years that literally my childhood hero Mario would be telling me that if I use drugs, I would go to heck before I die. I'm never going to use them, I'm going to take his word for it, but wow, my childhood hero. <laughs> I mean, maybe Mario is just talking from experience, you know, after picking up all those shrooms all over the Mushroom Kingdom. While it's hilarious that a childhood icon like this dude is literally saying that, it's also really important to actually pay attention to what he's saying. And to be honest, PSAs and stuff like this that they were doing back then in the 90s, we could actually use stuff like that nowadays. But if Lou Albano Mario was this dark, imagine how dark Chris Pratt Mario is going to be. Charlie, hey, don't give me that shit. Moving on. We know Nintendo had some pretty interesting marketing, but did you know that Sega had some stuff that was even better than Nintendo? I mean, what could be- Whoa, Whoa nice, nice graphic! Like hey, this was for the Saturn. I wonder what Sega had up their sleeves back in the 90s. Boys, I think we found one of the best commercial series ever made. Back in the 90s, Sega was still in the console wars with Nintendo and they had to come up with a sort of marketing campaign to try and bring the Saturn sales up. And they came up with the genius idea of Sega to Sanshiro. Sega to Sanshiro was a judo master who would beat the heck out of anyone who wasn't playing a Saturn. And I gotta say, these are some of my favorite commercials. Even if I didn't grow up watching these, or even if they didn't air in the US, I still love watching these. They're just so funny and ahead of their time. And honestly, nowadays, commercials for video games are kind of boring. Back then, it seems like they were putting some genuine creativity into these. Sekita Sanshiro proved to be one of the most powerful people in the universe. Until a Nintendo lackey tried to blow up Sega headquarters and Sega Tazashiro had to sacrifice himself. But Sega Tazashiro's legacy was not over. He had a son, Sega Shiro, who would carry on the mantle of the Guardian of Sega. And fun fact, did you know that Sega Shiro and Sega Tazashiro are actually father and son in real life? How awesome is that? There's a lot more to talk about when it comes to the whole Sega to Sanshiro story, but I would be here all day explaining it, and honestly, I think that's, uh, I might want to save that for another video. Well guys, I think that's enough for video game commercials, let's move on to something else, like food commercials. Yeah, there's definitely some good ones. Grubhub Parks give you deals. Yeah, we ain't talking about that one. 
Oh, now here's an interesting commercial. On the surface, this looks like your average Frito Lake commercial. Someone just enjoying some chips, you know? Until a very strange thing happens at the very end. It's almost life changing. Yep, that's right. Frito Lay literally pulled a legit Rick roll on us. I actually love it when internet celebrities come out and stuff like TV shows, movies, and commercials. It just really fills me with this certain kind of joy to see them on screen. But surprisingly, this isn't Rick Ashley's first commercial. He actually came out in a bunch of commercials back in the 90s for a whole bunch of different products. And Rick Ashley isn't the only 90s singer to come out in a drink commercial. Michael Jackson also came out in a Pepsi commercial. Yeah, they had Michael Jackson singing about Pepsi in a commercial. He's only there for like 10 seconds, but it's still pretty awesome. This was not really weird, but I felt like it was worth mentioning it. It is a pretty cool commercial. A little tune that Michael Jackson sings throughout this whole commercial is pretty catchy. You know guys, I think if Michael Jackson had listened to Mario, I think modern music would be way better, because nowadays we just don't get classics like in the 90s and 80s. Ah uh, yes, and now we're back to the dark ages of commercials. Okay, to be honest, I have no idea what these things are supposed to be. Supposedly they're like sponge monkeys, that's the name for them. They look like these ugly looking gerbil hybrids. I mean, sure, we let Chucky all over the cheese, but I mean, at least he looks cool. He looks fine. He looks clean. These things, man, you definitely don't want these in your taco. Oh yeah, I totally wasn't going to go to Quiznos, but now I know they have a pepper bar. A pepper bar. Now I'm definitely going to go. I know this might be a disgusting commercial, but to be honest, I just find this one so hilariously bad. Just for the memes. It's so funny. Hey look, this is from my homeland, Texas. Hey, honey, but to be honest, these 3D I'm models don't great. make what shrimp time? look appetizing. Sure. Mm. Okay, wait a second. This isn't popcorn, you idiot. It's popcorn shrimp! Oh, oh, I knew there was something familiar about it. Yeah, that's gonna raise some eyebrows. Oh, I knew there was something familiar about it. Hold on. Where are the kids? I gotta be honest, this commercial is hilarious. I love the whole shrimp cannibalism, dark humor thing. It's just, it's really funny. It's like, it's very well executed. Yes, it's stupid. Yes, they failed to make shrimp look appetizing, but it's still really funny to me. Now, we know Quiznos was not putting their all when it came to their commercials, but you know who was putting their all into their commercials? Taco Bell. I love how the nacho fries are super delicious and amazing, and when Taco Bell creates commercials for nacho fries, they legit put so much effort into these commercials. These are the kind of commercials that are actually enjoyable to watch, and they're the kind of commercials which would actually make me excited to watch them. They even advertise fake movies like The Fry Force or The Craving, and to be honest, if they made a movie like this, even if it had a bunch of cheesy cheese uh, puns, I would still love to see these. These would be amazing as full-on movies. Unlike Burger King or McDonald's where they try to hype up their foods and the food isn't really all that, Taco Bell hypes up their foods and the food is amazing. Or at least, you know, the nacho fries. We're all about the nacho fries, guys. Well guys, I think I might wrap this video up. I had a lot of fun making this one, it was pretty fun to react to some of these bad commercials, and there were a lot more that I wanted to include. Some toy commercials, some more Rick Ashley commercials, even some Geico and Progressive commercials that were pretty funny, but none of them were bad enough so that I that I could really like make fun of, and I kind of wanted to save them for another video if this one is successful. Please make sure to subscribe, I'm trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it guys, I know we can. Please make sure to subscribe, like, let me know what you guys thought, maybe if there's any other bad commercials you'd recommend for a future video, what your favorite bad commercial was, and I will leave links to all of these bad commercials in the description if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. And remember guys, don't do drugs. Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side, come on, it's time to go, do the Mario, take one step, and then
fast again. Let's do the Mario all together now.